Hey, everyone, it's dinner time. Time to eat. Hooray! Today, I have a special surprise for you. Close your eyes, everyone. Um, okay. 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 Almost done. No peeking. Okay, everybody, take a look. Yeah! Yay! Um, um, DJ Lance, I'm really hungry, but we can't eat the car for dinner. Ha, ha, ha. Of course not, Broby. I want to use the car to take you all to a restaurant. What's a restaurant? A restaurant is a place where you can go and eat new kinds of yummy foods. Wow, this sounds like fun. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> okay, buckle up. Here we go. Everyone, we've arrived at the restaurant. Whoa! We're here! All right! I'm so hungry! Go on inside, everybody, and get something to eat. Welcome to T.J. McFunster's Family Restaurant. Table for five? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, there are five of us. And you're all here? Y yes, we're all here. Great. <laughs> Follow me to your table. Take a look at what you want, and our waiter is busy. We'll be by to take your order. Okay. Okay. My name is Busy, and I'm going to be your waitress today. Hi, Hi Busy. Busy! What are these papers with pictures of food on them? These are our menus. Menus? What do we do with them? A menu is a list of all the yummy foods you can choose. You pick what you want, and then you tell the waitress. And we have lots of really tasty food here at TJ McFunster's. <laughs> Look at all these. A menu gives you choices, many choices of food. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner that we all get to choose. Okay, mm -hmm. oh, I'll take a four dog fruit salad, something to drink. And I'll have chicken nugget, french fries, and green beans. I'll take a crispy green salad, sounds good to me. I'll take a fish sandwich, please hold the cheese. A menu I'll go give your order to the chef. How special? Chicken and fruit. Right away. Order? Uh, what does that mean? I'll tell the chef what you want to eat, and then he'll make it. And when it's ready, I'll bring it to your table, okay? Bye. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. That was so awesome. Great. My name's Charlie. Something. What do you say? Thank you. Give me, give me. 
things because it really helps. And when you get something, you should say thank you because it's the nice thing to do. I think it's time for the Super Music Friend Show. Listen, it's starting. <laughs> Hungry? Here's Rocket from the Crypt with He's a Chef. Listening and dancing to music is awesome! Who's my baloney on right? Now that we ordered our food, what do we do? We have some time before our food comes out. We can have fun by talking to each other. But where's our food? The waitress wrote down what we want on a paper. Then she took the paper to the kitchen. This restaurant has a kitchen? Yes, every restaurant has a kitchen. And at this very moment, there is a chef who is cooking and preparing your food. Oh, I sure am, and it's going to be delicious. Oh, boy, I'm so excited. I can't wait to eat. Me too, Roby. This place is neat. <laughs> My butt! Hey, what are you doing down there? Broby! Broby, please come back up here. Crawling under the table is not very polite. You're bumping into everyone's legs, and that's not how we act at a restaurant. You're right. I'm getting dirty, too. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. I'm sorry. I was just trying to be funny. Well... We're just glad to have you back. Yes, we are. It's very important to have good restaurant manners. What are restaurant manners? Manners are the way we act. Restaurant manners is the way we act when we are in a restaurant. It's very important to be on our very best behavior. Let's be awesome while we wait. Wait, wait while we wait. Let's be awesome while we wait at our table. Come and close. And that would not be fun. Can I be loud and make lots of noise? Like playing the door. I said no, that would not be cool. So put down that fork and spoon. Let's be awesome while we wait. Wait, wait while we wait. Let's be awesome while we wait at our table. Can I leave that on my chair? What's wrong with that? No, no, no. Much room. 
awesome to run, all right? Let's be awesome while we wait. Wait, wait while we wait. Let's be awesome while we wait at our table. Is it okay to dance while you wait? Yes, it's okay, as long as you stay in your seat. I wish I knew how to dance. Let's be awesome. Let's be awesome. so patiently, you guys. You were the most well-behaved kids to come in all day. You guys were awesome. Thanks, Busy. Hi, I'm Steve, this is Caleb, and this is Kayla. And our cool trick is the balancing toothpicks. But first, I need uh, one salt shaker, two forks, thanks buddy, and two toothpicks, thank you. And here we go. Hi, I'm Steve, this is Caleb, and this is Kayla, and our cool trick is the balancing toothpicks. using your noodle. I forget what this is called. Okay, now that we all have our food, let's eat. I'm gonna eat, yeah. Yummy, yummy, gonna eat. Listen, everybody, it is important to have good manners while we wait, but it is even more important to have good manners while we eat. I'm sorry, Tootie. I just wanted some ketchup for my corn dog. But you knocked it over. I know. I'm sorry. Well, just ask next time and I'll pass it to you. Tootie, could you please pass the ketchup? Sure. Thank you. That's the idea. It's better manners to ask for something to be passed to you. And talking with your mouth full isn't polite either. I'm sorry about that, Fufa. You have to be careful when you pass the food. You have to remember not to talk with your mouth full. Always say please. And always say thank you. And never take food off of someone else's plate, too. We should mind our, we should mind our manners. When we're eating, when we're eating, we're We need to keep our mouths closed when we're chewing our food. We should not interrupt people when they're talking. That's rude. It's still in our chairs. And not run around. Keep our shoes on. And stay off of the ground. We should not. Let's eat! Oh, yeah. I'm really full now. I don't want to waste all this yummy. 
yummy salad. What should I do? Most restaurants will let you take your uneaten food home with you in a box or a bag. How was everything for you guys today? Great. Can we take home Fufa's salad? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Why is there a dog on this bag? People used to bring their leftovers home for their pets. That's why they called it a doggy bag. Oh, I get it. So I'm just gonna leave your bill here. The bill is what tells you how much money the meal costs. Don't worry, I'll pay for it. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Have a great day. Bye. See you again soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. How did you like the restaurant? I had a great time, DJ Lance. I couldn't finish my salad, so they let me take it home. All right. <gasps> DJ Lance, you didn't get to eat with us. Would you like the rest of my salad? Sure. Thanks, Fufa. <laughs> Mmm, that was delicious. I'm so full now, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. My name is Ace. My name is Leo. We, we like, like to dance. dance. Story time. Once upon a time, there was an amazing restaurant that had the best food ever but no one ever came there to eat. The cook said, I made all this fantastically tasty food, but no one is here to eat it. So the cook and the waiter sat at the restaurant, waiting and waiting for customers to show up. Then one day, the front door to the restaurant burst open. And to the cook's surprise, there was a customer who could eat the food he made. The customer looked really tired as he sat down and ordered a hamburger and a chocolate milkshake. When the waiter bought the customer the hamburger and the milkshake, the cook said, I'm so happy you're here. I've been waiting so long for someone to eat my wonderful food. The customer ate the hamburger and drank the chocolate milkshake in one gulp, then said, this is the best hamburger and chocolate milkshake ever. But it took me a long time to get here because your restaurant is on top of a giant mountain. It's too hard to get here. That's the reason no one comes to your restaurant to eat. So the cook, the waiter, and the customer agreed to move the restaurant to a better place so more people can eat there. With the help of a bunch of giant falcons, they lifted the restaurant to the nearest town, where all kinds of magical things lived. There are fairies, giants, unicorns, Dave. Hello. And even a group of acrobatic monkeys. They all loved the cook's food so much that they ate there all the time. And everyone and everything lived happily ever after. The end. It's almost time to go. Aww. But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today. Okay. First, we got in the car and drove to a restaurant where we learned how to order from a menu. A menu is a list of all the yummy foods you can choose. Then, we patiently waited for our food to be ready. Let's be awesome while we wait. Finally, we got to eat some yummy foods. We did it very politely and with very good manners. We should mind our, we should mind our manners when we're eating, when we're eating dinner. All right, today sure was an exciting day. Yeah! yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll bring it down. Come on! We should mind our, we should mind our manners when we're eating, when we're eating dinner. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's be awesome while we wait, wait, wait while we wait. Let's be awesome while we wait at our table. Give it to me now, you big, oh yeah. A menu gives you choices, many choices of food. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner that we all get Choose. A menu gives you choices, many choices of food. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner.
had a great time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo, Yo Gabba Gabba! Friends, today we're going to learn about some animals from a long time ago called dinosaurs. I think our friends are playing with some right now. This is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Look how sharp his teeth are. What's this one called? Uh, I don't know. Hey, DJ Lance, what are the names of these dinosaurs? Well, Muno. You have a Brachiosaurus, and Broby, you have a Triceratops. And back in the day, those dinosaurs were gigantic. They don't look that big. Those are just toy dinosaurs, Broby. <gasps> Can we go see the bigger dinosaurs? Sure. Here, this magic raft will help you to get to the land of the dinosaurs. Yay! Thanks, DJ Lance. Now, let's all say the magic words. Yo, Gabba Gabba!
Hello, my name is Mark, and today we're gonna draw a dinosaur called a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So let's draw one. First, we draw the body of the dinosaur like this. Ah, there we go. Tyrannosaurus Rexes have a big body with a small head and tiny little arms like this. Yeah, that's getting there. But something's missing. Oh yeah, his teeth. This dinosaur's gotta have big teeth. Mm. Nice set of chompers on that guy. Oh, he looks hungry. <laughs> well, thanks for drawing with us today. See you later. Again. I wanted to show you this. This is a dinosaur bone that I found. People find dinosaur bones all over the world. They've been kept safe for millions of years under rocks and dirt. Scientists put the bones together like a giant puzzle and then put them on display. We can learn a lot about dinosaurs from their bones. I bet our friends are learning a lot about dinosaurs right now. Let's go see. Wow! This is so cool! We get to see all these gigantic dinosaurs up close! I wonder what they eat! I haven't seen a single restaurant around here! Hey! Look over there! Maybe she knows! Um, excuse me! Wow! Whoa, didn't see you there. Where'd you come from? We came down the river from Gabba Land! Oh, hi! I'm Sarah. What brings you all the way out here? We wanted to learn more about dinosaurs up close. Like, what do dinosaurs eat? Every dinosaur is different. I'm a Brachiosaurus, and I eat plants and grass. Plant eaters are called herbivores. Like a vegetarian? <laughs> you mean vegetarian. Oh, yeah. A vegetarian. Yes, I am a vegetarian, and I love to eat plants and veggies. Some other dinosaurs, like the Tyrannosaurus Rex, eat meat. Meat eaters are called carnivores. Oh, wow! Cool! I eat a lot of roots and berries. I eat leaves from the trees up above. I eat plants, cause that's what herbivores do. Plants are meat. Plants are meat. Plants are meat. Our plants are meat. It gives us energy and helps us be strong. Food is what we like to eat. If you eat plants and meat, you're called an omnivore. Hey guys, that's my mom. Hello, Hello there. there! She's gigantic. Why, yes, I am. I'm tall, so I can eat the yummiest leaves on the top of these trees. The leaves on the ground are not so good. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, 
Hey, Sarah, who are all of your friends? This is Broby. Hello. He's the green one. And Muno. Mother. And Tootie. Hi. Oh, well, hey, <laughs> your friends look pretty cool. And they also look like they'd love to learn a new dancey dance. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is called the Caveman Kaboom, and here's how it's done. Oh, First, right. you pretend you're a caveman like me. Oh. Then, you walk to this side. Walk to this side. Walk to this side. Walk to this side. And you do it again. Walk to the side. Walk to the side. Walk to the side. Walk to the side. Jump up. Jump up. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. And say kaboom. You guys got it. Wow, hey, do you want to try it out? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, of yeah. course. Let's All right. Go. Walk, walk, walk. were great. Oh, thanks. thanks for teaching us that caveman dance, Patton. Oh, uh, Broby, anytime. You're an amazing caveman dancer. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, guys, come with me. I want to show you some nests over here. Oh, bye, guys. Oh, Have bye. fun. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 Doing. She's getting ready for bed. Can you see how she keeps her babies warm with her wings? Dinosaurs sure are a lot like some of the animals back home. Yeah! yeah. Sarah, <sighs> honey, we need to say goodbye to your new friends. It's time to go to sleep now. But mom, I want to keep playing. Sarah, you know you need to get your rest if you're going to have the energy to play tomorrow. Now it's sleepy time. and rest. Remember to get back home, just say the magic words. Yo, Plex, where is everybody? I do not know. Back from where? We were in dinosaur land. Oh, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ice cream. Ice cream who? 
I scream if you don't let me in. Oh. <laughs> Guys, Ooh. the Super Music Friends Show is on. Let's all have a dinosaur party with Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros. The time to go Aww. but first let's remember all the fun things we did today okay. yeah. first we rode a magic raft into dinosaur land then we learned about what dinosaurs like to eat finally 
We learned that getting lots of rest is important. Sarah, you know you need to get your rest if you're going to have the energy to play tomorrow. Today was such a gigantic day. Yeah! yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. One, two, three, four. a great time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo, Yo Gabba Gabba! Friends, look who's here. It's my sister, Kimba. Aww. Hi, everyone. Lance, remember when we went to day camp? We had so much fun. Day camp? Oh, yeah. That's where we spent the day outside with our friends and family, playing games, doing crafts, and having fun. That's right! I bet our friends in Gabaland will love going to day camp as much as we did. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome to day camp. I'm Barbara, your day camp teacher. Hey, I'm Fufu, Fufu's big bro. And I'm here to help out and teach you some cool games to play. Yeah! So great! I love spending time with my big brother! Yeah! For some of you, like my daughter Mona, this is your first time here. So, why don't we play the Who Am I game? Yeah! yeah. That, that sounds fun! First, let's take turns with our new camp friends. Each of you will say your name and act out your favorite Ooh, thing to do. Yeah. And we'll all try to guess <laughs> what it is. All right, Mona, why don't you start? <laughs> okay. My name is Mona, and I love to... Flying Vibes! We know who everyone is. Let's choose day camp buddies. Let's make two teams a green team and a blue team. All right, everyone, find a buddy. What's the matter, you two? <gasps> Why don't you be camp buddies with each other? Everyone else is with someone from their family. Oh, no, no. Let's go. I wish my brother Kitty was here. Huh. I'll be your day camp buddy, Cutie. Mm, I guess that's okay. All right. Whoa! Bobby, oh. be careful! Whoa! I'm sorry. I tripped. Tootie, Broby, is everything okay? Uh, I just wish my brother was here to be my day camp buddy. Tootie, 
I know you, Miss Kitty. But we should be nice to everyone, especially our day camp buddy. I'm sorry, Broby. I'll be nice. I am glad you're my day camp buddy. Oh, phew. Wow, this looks great. Sure does. Lance, you were the best day camp buddy ever. <laughs> no, Kimba, you were. <laughs> My name is Sid. My name is Franco. We like the band. Just gather around. For business beat of the day, I'm going to teach you some sounds. Hey, kids. This is day camp. And I want you to do the beat like this. One more time. Now practice this at home, kids. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Go, Green Team! Go! Go, Blue Team! Go! Yay! Great job, guys! Races are awesome! Let's see what they do next! Great race, everyone! Yeah! Now it's break time until the next activity. Awesome! Want to play patty cake, Tootie? Yeah! <laughs> patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as patty cake, patty cake. <laughs> All right. Throw it in the pan. Patty cake. Oh, what? Look, Chibo, they're copying us. Barbara, why do little kids copy big kids? Well, Chibo, that's one way that they learn how to do things. They watch the big kids and try to do what they're doing. That reminds me of a really fun game where everyone follows the leader. Come on, everyone, gather around. Yeah. Okay, Broby, you go first. Okay.
Knock, knock. Who's there? Allie. Allie who? Allie Gator. Knock, knock, <laughs> Guys, the Super Music Friends Show is on. Look, it's starting. Let's all have fun with our friends, the Roots, singing "We Have Fun." to do this dance right here so come on grab a friend here we go paddle on the side paddle on the side paddle on the side paddle on the side roll down the river that's a canoe ride yeah paddle on the side paddle on the side paddle on the side paddle on the side roll down the river that's a canoe ride yeah all right that was awesome <laughs> Tootie, Kitty's visit to the dentist ended early. No cavities. Hi. We thought we would come say hi. I'm so glad you could come. Kitty, there's someone you have to meet. My friend, Broby. Uh, hi. Broby, what's wrong? Well, since Kitty is here, oh. you probably don't need a day camp buddy anymore. What? No way. Broby, you're the best day camp buddy I could ever have. Why don't we all be day camp buddies together? All right! Tootie, that is a wonderful idea. Kitty's been talking about you all day. He really, really missed you. <laughs> Hi, Kitty. Hello, Broby. It's wonderful to meet you. Gather round, everybody. Our last activity of the day is going to be a rope pull. No one can win alone. You've got to be part of a team. Whichever team can pull the ribbon over their line first wins. All right, green team. All right, blue team. Are you ready? 
Yeah! Let's start! Hold the rope tight and pull with all your might. We are a family. We are a team. We can do things we never dreamed. We are a family. We are a team. When we work together, we can win at anything. Try, try, try your best. Try, try, try your best. could be better than spending a day in the park as one big happy family of friends. Today, each of you is a day camp champ. Yo Gabba Gabba! <laughs> day camp sure was fun. Just like when we were little. Friend is today. Yeah. 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 Hello, everybody. I'm Todd, and I love to make stuff. Would you like to make something with me today? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we can make our own custom printed one of a kind t shirts using stuff you can find directly in your kitchen. Just grab one of your old favorite t shirts, get a paper plate and some fabric dye, and off we go. Yeah. <laughs> Lightly dip the edge of your mashed potato masher in the paint and start placing it wherever you want. Just push it down and lift it up. You can turn the mashed potato masher around and go back and forth to sort of create a single line. Now you can use any color you want, any shape you want in your cookie cutter. Just lightly dip it in and place it down and lift it up. Now when you're happy with where you are with your design, this is a good time to ask a grown-up for some help. If you read the instructions on the back of the fabric paint bottle, you can seal it in so that when it's washed, the dye doesn't come out. Oh, All right, let's see how they look. Yeah! yeah. Fantastic! Yeah. Good job, everyone! Yeah. Yay! Well, this has been so much fun. I've had a great time making crafts with you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, and I'll see you some other time. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. Thank you! And I'm Fate, and, and this, this is, is our cool, cool trick. Boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, sh. Boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, sh. Boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, sh. And that's our cool trick. Our cool, cool, cool tricks! Yeah! It's almost time to go. Aww. But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today. Yeah. Okay. 
First, we met everybody at day camp and learned to be nice to everyone. I'll be nice. I am glad you're my day camp buddy. Oh, phew. Then, we learned that teaching others something new can be fun and silly. Shake your arms and touch the ground. Finally, we met some new friends and everyone had a great time. Try, try, try your best. Try, try. Yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. Time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo, Gabba Gabba. Everyone, I have a special surprise today. Wow. This is called a farm. It's where vegetables like tomatoes, carrots, corn, and other fruits and vegetables are grown. Would you like to find out how to make things like these grow? I do, I do. I want to make things grow right now, DJ Lance. Yeah! <laughs> 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 no, no, everyone. You have to know how these things work before you can use them on a farm. Uh, this is harder than I thought. How can we learn to use all these farm things, DJ Lance? Yeah! How? That's a very good question, Muno. It looks like we're going to need some help learning what a farm is. Hmm. I've got an idea. I have a friend who will know what to do. But first... I have a very special way to call him. Now listen very close. It's really great to meet you all. My name's Farmer Josh. Hello, Hello Farmer, Farmer Josh. Josh! So... Well, it looks like y'all could use a little help. <laughs> Can you help us learn about farms? Well, it would be my pleasure. I'm sure you all got plenty of questions. How do pumpkins grow? Where do eggs and milk come from? What are all these noisy animals for? <laughs> How do you make everything grow? Uh, how do you use this thing? Well, those are all really good questions, everyone. And I've got just a song that'll help answer. Tootie can feed the chickens and get the eggs. Yes, Fufa, you're so good at watering the plants. I am. Roby will tend the pumpkins in the pumpkin patch. All right. Lex can fix the track.
think y'all are ready to do some farming now. Hooray! And I think you're gonna do great. <laughs> but right now, I gotta go. Ah. So I'll be seeing y'all real soon, all right? Yeah! Thanks, Farmer Josh! Again. Now that we know what a farm is, let's see how everyone works together on a farm. This is so great! We're doing it! We're really farming! I can't wait to watch these seeds grow! Razzle dazzle! I can't wait either! And I finally know what this is! It's used to move the dirt! You move the dirt, and I plant the seeds. We can plant corn, and tomatoes, and carrots, and peas, and so many other great things. Farming is so much fun! Look, I have milk and eggs! <laughs> With these special signs, we'll know where to find all the great things we are growing. I love watering everything.
Now, let's join Dr. Dog at the farm singing When You're a Gardener. and dancing to music is awesome! awesome. It's time to make funny faces! Hey, now it's your turn to try it! That's great! You can do it! Whoa! Now that's funny! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Great job! Those are funny faces! Hello, everyone! Now that the crops on the farm have been planted, grown, and gathered, it's time for a good old fashioned farmer's market! Let's take a look! Thanks for coming, everyone. Come on over and see all the great things we've grown. All right. <laughs> Yee-haw! Wow, you all did such a good job. <laughs> Thanks, Google. We did do a wonderful job. Oh, yes. Apples. I love apples. Mmm, <laughs> so crunchy and apple-y. Sounds like Farmer Josh! <gasps> Farmer Josh! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this looks amazing! You guys really did outdo yourself! Thanks, Farmer Josh! If it wasn't for your help, we wouldn't have a farm or a farmer's market. Or tomatoes and pumpkins! Or know how to make the farm look beautiful! Or I know that eggs come from chickens and that milk comes from cows. And I wouldn't have figured out how to use this. Ah, oh, shucks, y'all. It was nothing. I was just glad I could help you. I mean, y'all sure did put a lot of hard work and dedication into the farm and this farmer's market. I mean, it makes me so happy I could just dance. In fact, Gives me an idea. Y'all come on in close here. I want to teach you something. Teach, teach us what? An old fashioned hold down. Woo! Okay! Well, that does sound exciting. Is it like a dancey dance? Sure, it's like one of those dancey dances, but not as funky. It's a little more razzly dazzly. <laughs> oh, razzly dazzly. That sounds so 
fun. I love to learn new dances. Well, I reckon you do, Missy. I reckon everyone loves a little singing and dancing. Lights. Music. Now everyone follow my lead and do what I do. Now let me show you the first part of the dance and then we'll try it together. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Do it twice, cause it's really neat. All right, let's do it together, ready? Here we go. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Do it twice, cause it's really neat. Woo, great job. Now I'll show you the second part of our dance. Okay. Two steps forward, two steps back. Spin around and tip your hat. Well, there you have it. Now we'll all try it together. Two steps forward, two steps back. Spin around and tip your hat. All right. right. Now that you know both parts, it's time to put them together and do the super sizzling hold-down party dance. Here we go. All right. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Do it twice, because it's really neat. Now two steps forward. sing a song about the amazing job you farmers did putting the farm together. All right! Now, Moo grew some corn. That was oh so sweet. Good job. grew some pumpkins. That was quite a feat. Oh, yeah! Tootie got the eggs from the chickens. <laughs> Without Foofa's water, and there'd been real slim picking. Flex fixed some things that worked like a charm. Yeah! Through everyone's teamwork, y'all built the farm. Hold on! Wow, thank you everyone for such a great time. You're all bona fide farmers now. Thank you! Well, it was my pleasure. I'll see y'all around. Goodbye! Bye. 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 Once upon a time, there was a cute dog named Sally. Sally was a pretty golden retriever that lived on a beautiful farm in the middle of the prettiest fields of corn you've ever saw. One day, a giant dark cloud came and covered the sun, and it began to rain really, really hard. There was so much rain that even the old farmer said, Yep, this is a lot of rain. All the animals were scared by all the rain and the thunder and lightning, but not Sally. She was brave and helped all the animals get out of the rain and into the nice, dry, happy bar. Then, all of a sudden, crash! A big bolt of lightning struck the biggest tree, and a giant branch fell in front of the door of the chicken coop, and all the chickens were stuck. They all said, help us, Sally! So Sally braved the rain. <laughs> and brave the lightning. <laughs> and brave the thunder. Ba -ba boom Until she moved the giant branch and saved the chickens. All the animals on the farm were so happy. They gave good old Sally a giant bone that said best farm dog ever. And they all lived happily ever after on the happiest farm in the entire world. The end. Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go. Aww! But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today. Okay! Yeah. 
first, we all met Farmer Josh, who taught us what a farm is and how to make it come to life. Can you help us learn about farms? Well, it would be my pleasure. Then, we learned the best way to make things grow is to work together. You moved the dirt, and I plant the seeds. Finally, we had a farmer's market where we showed all the things we grew to our friends and had a good old-fashioned hoedown. Alright, today sure was an exciting day. Yeah! Now it's time to dance! Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. Clap. This thing. Sunny days. These are all my friends on the farm. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Love it, love. Telling everybody how we love them. Love them. Try, try, try together. <laughs> clap, clap your hands. Don't stop your beat. had a great time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye! Here we go. Yo, Yo Gabba Gabba! Friends, gotta make sure I look my best. An important visitor is coming to Gabaland. Good morning, brave citizens of Gabaland. Tis I, Minnie King Tambor. Hello, Hello Your Highness. Highness. Please, please, that's not necessary. I've come to ask for your help. My peaceful kingdom has been disturbed by a pesky dragon. Huh? What happened, your kingliness? Ah, allow me to tell you the tale. Once upon a time, a dragon arrived in our fair village. And the villagers were afraid because a dragon had never been seen up close before. He was tall and scaly with huge wings, sharp claws, and teeth. At the sight of him, the villagers ran into their houses and locked all their doors. The children stared at him through their windows, frozen in fear. No one would play with him or even come close, and so he started to become a mean bully. He flew through the town whenever he pleased, making a mess and calling the townspeople names, which made them sad. One day, I tried to talk to the dragon myself, but he only laughed and made fun of my size. No one knows exactly where he goes at night, but some say he lives in a dragon's lair far, far away, past the spooky forest. So now, I've come to Gabalan for your help with our dragon bully. What a story! Poor villagers. Poor dragon. He's probably just as scared as they are. Indeed, and there's more. Yesterday, he flew away with all our town's blankets, and winter is just about to arrive. Oh! Oh no! Everyone's gonna be so cold! The dragon surely seems cruel, but I wonder if all he really needs are some friends to show him a little kindness. So I've come to you, Mini King Tambor, to ask, will you please help us? My dear Tootie, what is the matter? Are you not ready for such a challenge? Uh, well, I want to help, but... But what? But I'm scared. What if I'm not brave enough or strong enough? I know real heroes when I see them. Look. See that you're having doubts. Um, yeah. But you're stronger than you think. I am? 
Yes, you're very brave indeed. Wow! You're the hero that we need. Ooh. I know you can do, do, do it. Believe in yourself and there's nothing to it. I've never tried this before and I'm a little scared. You'll be great, just believe, and soon you'll get there. That's wonderful, Tootie. Now, let me show you the way. <laughs> you follow that path, and it will lead you to the dragon. Oh, but please, please hurry. You must bring back our dear blankets before the first snow falls. smushed my cake. What? How rude! The dragon breathed all over my flowers and now they're wilted. My name is Sailor and I like to dance, but the dragon took my dancing shoes. And did you hear? The dragon took all our blankets. <gasps> yes, we heard! Sorry about all the trouble with that old dragon. better too, but I still wish I had my cake back. And my flowers. And my shoes to dance. And don't forget about our blankets. Don't worry, villagers. We're on a quest to find the dragon and fix everything. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Maybe if you cheer up the dragon, he'll stop being a bully. That's a great idea. 
We're gonna cheer up that dragon and make sure he stops booing your village for good. Yeah! Come on, guys. Let's head to the spooky forest. I have a feeling our quest is just beginning. Not gonna lie, I'm a little spooked. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a couple of friendly gnomes. Pardon us, we've been waiting forever for someone to clear the path. Oh, hello there. Plex, can you do anything about this tree? Yes, I can. <laughs> Dragon too? What? The dragon's that way. Uh, I think I have something in the oven. Let's go, Mabel. Good luck to you all. Um, you guys? What is it, Broby? Does anyone remember what the dragon looked like? <laughs> Voila! Huh? Hello, everyone. It is I, Sir Mark of Mother's Ba. Hi, Hi Mark. Hello! I heard you guys need help finding a dragon. Yeah. yeah! Is it the one who's been bullying his way through the kingdom? Yeah! Oh, I know exactly what he looks like. <gasps> What's he look like? Well, I'm gonna draw him for you. Okay! First, let's draw his head. Got a big <laughs> snout. <laughs> Lots of teeth. Now let's draw his body and feet. Uh, Got a couple arms. Dragon has a tail. Got a tail. Okay, what's missing? Oh yeah, he's got two wings. Yep, that's the guy you're looking for. I made him a little cuter though. Aww. Hope that helps. Good luck finding him. Goodbye. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Mark. Goodbye. 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 Dragon. We will, Tootie. We just have to keep going. Hey! Check it out! Oh. Whoa! What's that? I don't know, but I like it. I think it's trying to tell us something. Let's 
keep going. Hey, guys. I see a cave up ahead. Maybe it's the dragon's lair. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah! 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 There's the blankets. And look, the dragon. Hey, who are you? This is my lair. Oh, greetings, Mr. Dragon. I'm Muno. I'm Fufa. And I'm Plex. The name's Dragon. Yeah, yeah, okay, enough with the hellos. I'm called the Dragon. Now scram. But we were sent by the Mini King. <laughs> that little guy? Ha! Go back and tell him Carl's in charge. We've come to ask you to stop bullying the nearby village. Don't you know it's not nice to mess with other people's things and call them names? Hey, man. That's what dragons do. Excuse me, dragon. I mean, Carl. Could you please give us back the town's blankets? Winter is coming, and without them, everyone in the village is going to be cold. Hey, what a funny little hat. I think I'll keep it. But, 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 but that is mine. Not anymore. <laughs> Aww. Guys, I think I got an idea how to make Carl nicer. Oh, what a Hey, Carl. This is a pretty cool dragon's lair. But where are all your friends? Duh! Dragons don't need friends. We're tough and mean. No way! Everyone needs friends, even dragons. I'm half dragon and I love my friends. Aww. Who needs friends when I got all these blankets to make me happy? Trust me, friends are way better than blankets. I do anything for my friends, and they do anything for me. Hmm. Let me show you. I'll do anything, anything, anything for my friends, and they'll do anything for me. Anything for me. When you love me, we'll cheer you up. And when we're lonely, you'll cheer us up. drawing. I like my new haircut. Thanks for the cake. Now I can have my birthday party. <laughs> Mr. Carl, these flowers are beautiful. And I finally have shoes to dance. My name is Sayla. I like to dance. And thanks to Carl, we all got our blankets back. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Your Highness. I never realized how fun it is to be nice. I love my new friends. Oh, that's great, Carl. And we are happy to be your friends, too. In fact, your new friends in town knitted you a giant blanket so you'll be warm for the winter. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Look at me, a dragon with friends. Blankets have been returned just in time for winter. Oh, I can't thank you enough for all your hard work and courage. It's time for a royal celebration. Fetch the mini band. Hooray! It's Neon Indian with a song I wrote for Carl. It's called Carl Song, or We Learn from Our Mistakes. Yeah! <laughs>
listening and dancing to music is royally awesome. awesome. Yay! You said it, King. Huh? Hey, guys. It's almost time to go back to Gabalan. But first, I brought my remix flute. This door will take you back home. Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. I know. You can do, do, do it. Believe in yourself. And there's nothing to it. I'm ready to go for it. I can do, do, do. Come on, let's cheer up. Cheer up. Cheer up. It's OK to be you, you. Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye! Bye. Here we go. Yo! Yo.